welcome to another video. It is going to be my December vlog and it has been a long time since I have been in front of the camera. Can you believe that my last vlog was in August? I didn't do a sept September one. November, uh, October and November just literally disappeared and now it's December. Today I think it's around the 6th of December. So yeah, let's get this, this vlog started, hey? So I've got a few finished items since I see saw you last and also I've got some works in progress I've just grabbed two of the works in progress that I'm doing at the moment there's more than that but I don't want to bore you with the details <laughs> and we're also going to have a giveaway in this vlog and so stay tuned for that because it is a huge one it is 300,000 subscribers and also our Christmas giveaway because we always have a Christmas giveaway if you've been around long enough you'll know that we have one every year and we also hit 300,000 subscribers on my YouTube channel, which is awesome. We cracked that probably about four weeks ago, but I just wanted to do the Christmas and the 300,000 subscriber giveaway with the Christmas giveaway. So, yeah, let's get started. I've got no notes, as you can tell. <laughs> I'm just trying to remember to include things. I did go on a, what would you call it? Like a crochet, not a crochet weekend away, but a crochet day away with some friends of mine. Uh, so one of the friends, Carmen, her friend has a boat shed and it's been renovated and everything and turned in sort of, it's got like a little lounge room and a little dining room as well as a kitchen. It's just all one big room, but it's really, really nice and it was so relaxing. We all needed it. We probably went about a month ago now, probably... I think it's like October, November. We're waiting for some nice weather and every time we try to get together someone was busy or etc. So I'll insert some footage for that. It was a really good day. It was so relaxing. We ate so much food. Cheese, dip, crackers, biscuits, cake. Uh, what else? You name it, we were eating it. <laughs> it was so much fun, like I said. And we just, you know, sat around from about 10.30 to about 4.30 in the afternoon just talking about crochet, knitting, you know, solving, you know, first world problems and all that. But yeah, had a really good time and I, yeah, like I said, I'll put some footage into that. Would you believe my video camera was almost flat when I got there? You know, such a professional. Should have charged it before I went, but completely forgot. Because I wanted to do a show and tell and a vlog style video with my friends. Um, but luckily for them, my video camera was flat because when I asked them, they were like, Oh, I don't know if I want to do it. But uh, yeah, luckily for them, the camera was almost flat. So I just did some footage of where we were and just the view that we had. The view was amazing, by the way. And it's just that was part of the relaxing part was the view. As you can tell, I need a haircut, which I am getting on Friday. Today is Wednesday. So I'm getting it on Friday because my fringe is getting out of control and it goes in front of my eyes. So 
Forgive me if I fiddle with that because it's really annoying. <laughs> but I'm going out for dinner tonight with the so said friends in the video. Um, and yeah, I thought I would straighten my hair for the occasion. So I'm going to start with works in progress and then finished items. Um, oh, and I've got. What do you call it? Stash enhancement. And that's really easy to get to, it's just behind me in the chair, I've just realised that one. Yes, yeah, so a stash enhancement, and then we'll talk about giveaways and anything else that we come up with. So my first work in progress, I'm just going to grab, I'm going to be bending down just here because that's where all my stuff is. So this is in one of our Stitchy Bits and Bobs bags, these project bags. I have a um, Facebook page where we sell uh, my hand dyed yarn and then we also get bags made for us by the lovely Carmen and Karen. And this is one of our bags that we had. This is our... I'm pretty sure that's our large. Yeah, that's our large. And in this project bag, I have my... Um, Meraki Studio yarn. I'm just going to grab it out. Oh, it's going to fall off. Got my Meraki Studio yarn. I'm hoping that's focusing. I'm actually sitting quite a way away from the camera. So I'm hoping that's focusing. And it's a four ply yarn or a sock weight. And as you can see, it's a gorgeous colour. So I got that one and a grey. The grey one. The grey one was also Meraki Studio, but I seem to have misplaced the tag. And I've only just started it. So if you watched, I think it was my August vlog, I was saying that I purchased this yarn after seeing the blue one on the Grocery Girls and um, I think it was is it Tracy? Oh, I'm blank what their names are. I think it's Jodie and Tracy and the, I think Tracy has a blonde hair. She was saying that she'd bought this yarn and as soon as I saw it I had to get it. So as you can see it's not quite finished. It's only just started. I haven't even finished I'm not even ready to separate for the sleeves so um, this is my v-neck cardigan pattern as you can see and I'd already started this and I'd already divided for the sleeves and I had the grey at the top like this part was all grey and then I was just going to add the blue and put the blue in the bottom but it looked too boring it was just too blocked it was like a block of grey and then a block of blue and I thought it was too boring and I went to knit night and there was a lady there who had knitted a cardigan uh, I can't remember the name of the cardigan I think I've got it in my Ravelry library and it had stripes it had like a main colour of stripes and then skinny stripes on one side and then thick stripes on the other on the other sleeve and then also in the body that would make total sense if you've seen the pattern I'll try and put the name across the screen so you can check it out if you want to and I saw that cardigan that she was wearing and I thought I could probably do something like that, not exactly the same because hers is knitted, but something like that with the thin stripes. So that's where the inspiration for this for this one come from with the way the colours are set out. So yeah, like I said, I haven't done much of it. Um, I've had a sore wrist actually for about a month and a half and sore right hand from crocheting and computers and things. I'm trying to give it a rest and I'm not getting to do any personal crochet like I would call this personal crochet because there's already a video tutorial for this and I'll put the link that you need oh I could also put a the in the more information now there's going to be a thing it's either going to pop up here or up here I think it's popping up here no I think it pops up here I don't know, there's going to thing pop up somewhere in the corner of the video and if you click that it'll take you to the video. And I'm also using my Yarnet with this project. It's really cool. It has these little stoppers on the side and you can take them off and then untwist the lid. And it keeps your yarn nice and clean. It doesn't. Me personally, I have my own hair that gets stuck onto the yarn. I don't have any animals, so what am I doing? What am I doing wrong? I've got it wrong, that's why. 
Um, yeah, I don't have any pet hair, but I've definitely got Claire hair. So it keeps it safe from that. And also dust and whatever else you've got around. And also too, when it's next to you on the couch, it doesn't roll away and you don't have to chase it across the lounge room floor. And it just sits in sits inside my bag like that, so it's really good. And also good if you get, like I go to a knit night, so it's good if you want to go to knit night and you can just put this on your lap and it's all in your bag. So just quickly, what I'm wearing, this is my cardigan, this is my Vena cardigan that is the same pattern that that grey and blue one's going to be and this one had so if you've watched the v-neck cardigan tutorial this one had the collar around it personally i didn't like the collar i only did the collar for the sake of the tutorial and i actually took it off and for me personally i don't like a lot of fuss so i've just taken the collar off and it's just a plain v-neck cardigan and i just had a little bit of leftover yarn and using that for the tie up I should really invest in a button but but hey it's working at the moment <laughs> and I've got that around my neck because it's a bit cool today so my next work in progress is in my again stitchy bits and bobs bags this is one of the prototypes that we when we very first started and I had this cool fabric so yeah I had to have it and it's got polka dots on the lining. So what have we got in this one? Oh, so this is a knitted product, uh, project and I haven't printed out the whole pattern and this is a, I'm pretty sure this is a paid for pattern on Ravelry and it's by um, Hokey Locatelli. I think that's right. Every time I go to say her name I get it wrong. I'm going to put the name across the screen and also the name of the pattern because I think it's called the Three Colour Cashmere Cow but I'm not 100% positive because I didn't print the whole pattern out and I can only show you what it's going to look like because I can't show you the pattern because it's a pay for pattern so that's what it's going to look like I really love those colours but I am trying to work from stash so my stash is I have this for my contrast and if you have seen my vlogs, you will know that I got this yarn from Vintage Pearls. It's a four-ply sock yarn. And I made, if you're on Instagram as well, I made my pink v-neck sleeveless cardigan. So if you want to check that out, go and check out my Instagram feed. It's, it's blowing quite out. It's not fluoro pink. It's like a really, um, how would you describe it? It is a bright pink, but it's not fluoro like it's coming up onto my screen. So that's my contrast colour. And then my main colour is this one. This is again a 4 ply sock yarn. Actually, I don't know if it's a sock yarn. Yeah, it does. It's got nylon in it and it's sparkly. I don't know if that's showing up on the video camera. It's really pretty. It's like a, a bluey greeny colour. Like a mermaid bluey green. And it's from Let Them Knit. And it's a fingering or four ply yarn and it's merino, nylon and stellina. The stellina is the sparkly bit. Oh, and this is my... This is my tag for Vintage Pearls. So that was the pink yarn. And then my other colour is... I don't know if I put the tag for that one. Usually I put the tags in the bag. Oh, here it is. This one is Hollyberry Designs. And that's what it is. So if you've been looking at the prices, you'll see that this is expensive. It's not going to use all of that yarn, so that cow is not going to cost me $100. But it's a little bit of luxury. And this is that yarn. This is the Hollyberry yarn. It's lovely. You will see this grey on the outside. That's because I had to frog it. Because I made a mistake. 
And this is what I've got so far. I like to frog it back to where the pink line is. The pink line is actually a, a um, what do you call it? A lifeline. Which is what you put in if you think that you've made a mistake, which I did, and I had to rip it out. But if you put a lifeline in, or you don't drop all your stitches. So that's what I've got so far. And all the grey that's on the outside was already knit. And I had to pull it all out, all the way back to that pink line to there. But it had a really big mistake on the eyelet. See the eyelets that are there? I had a really big mistake, so I had to pull it out. So it's a slow going project, but it's going into summer here, so I'm not worried because I'm not going to need it, hopefully. So yeah. So I've still got six months to do that project. And this was one I wanted on the side as like an in-between project. Maybe I had to knit something on that on Christmas because I'm not working over Christmas. It's got my little black pom-pom. So that is my works in progress. I do have other stuff, but seriously, you'd, uh, you'd need a long time to get through all the projects. So now I'm going to go on to my finished items. And my first one, I've just got a pile, so I'm just going to go, not in order of how they were finished, but just in order of how they are folded up next to me. So this is my pink cardigan. This is the yarn that I just showed you for the, the cow. Let me just do up a button, because that might make it sit better. So I finished this about, I would say, at least a month ago. Just gonna do it on one of the buttons. And this is a V-neck cardigan. This is one of my tutorials, and it's short sleeves, so I didn't add to the sleeves. If you've made the pattern, that'll make sense to you. I just did single crochet around the outside of the. I don't even know what I'm talking about. What am I talking about? Around the edging, just did single crochet just to finish it off and to pull it in a little bit. And it's got buttons down the front. And it's just plain. And that's the back. And the buttons. You've got to see the buttons. Let's see if we can... Oh. It is so hard to show you things and make it look a little bit professional. <laughs> like filming wise. These are my buttons. I don't want you to focus on me. I want you to focus on the buttons. Can you see the sparkle? It's just going to pick up the reflection of the lights. You can see the sparkle in there. So yeah, I haven't got to wear this yet. Wear it, worn. I haven't worn this yet, or got to wear it, because it hasn't been warm enough. So, I mean, it has been warm enough, but I've actually forgotten that I had it. So, could have wore it a quite a few days. But I wanted to show you in the video before I go and wear it. So yeah love that it's lovely and soft it's been blocked I didn't wash, block it very harsh just on the bottom band to get that straight and a little tiny bit on the um, the edging around all the neck and things but it's lovely and soft really love the yarn this one has been finished gosh that looks bright it's not that fluoro in real life it is bright but it's not that bright this has been finished for quite a while and it actually in my last vlog I think I was talking about this. This is the Duchess of Gem... If anything's wrong there's going to be names across the screen for the patterns. This is the Duchess of Devonshire Shawl by Kay Jones on Ravelry. It is a paid for pattern. It is easy for beginners up until the edging. So I'm going to show you this and then I'm going to tell you the story about the edging. So if you watch it's quite long too like that's my my wingspan and it doesn't go all the way across like it's longer than my wingspan let's see and I'm 172 centimeters tall so it's a really big shawl it's lovely to wear it's lovely and warm this is a four ply or fingering weight I think it was merino I don't think it was as don't think it was just wool and nylon I think it was a merino so it's lovely and soft so it has let's get it the right way it has rows of garter yep garter a little bit of stockinette stitch like just there which is just knit on one side 
and then you've got the eyelets. After I found, finished this project, I discovered I did the eyelets wrong. <laughs> Just how I knit, I did it wrong. Don't ask me how. It still looks kind of the same as the pattern, but it's slightly different. Um, so yeah, I got all the way to the edging, and I was going to do the edging, and if you watch my last vlog, you'll already know the story. I was going to do the edging, and I tried it, and I just couldn't get it. I tried it about five times on five different occasions. You know, put it down, walked away, and I just couldn't get it. So my awesome friend Karen, who I do talk about on the podcast quite a bit, she's my crochet knitting buddy, she offered to do the edging for me. And I was really happy without the edging. But now I'm so glad that she offered because I really do love that edging. It looks really cool. So before, see where the garter section ends there. It was up to there and then Karen's done this edging for me, which has worked sideways. I just couldn't get it. I'm not up to that stage yet. But yeah, it's awesome and it's lovely and warm. So I really recommend that pattern. Um, yeah, I can't say anything more about it. It's just a good pattern. It's written really well. It's easy to follow, apart from the edging for me, because I didn't know what I was doing. <laughs> But I'm sure it's easy to follow once you know how to do it. But yeah. So I would definitely make this shawl again. And even if I didn't have the edging on it, it wouldn't worry me. But hopefully by then I'd be good enough to do it myself. So this is one... Oh, none of my ends are sewn in. This is my... Stitch Sampler Cow. <laughs> I couldn't remember what I'd called it. The Stitch Sampler Cow. This is already a video tutorial, so you can check that out. Again, click on the info tab. I think it pops up here. I think so. It's on one either here or here. It'll pop up. It's a Stitch Sampler Cow, and we have front and back post double crochet, cross stitch, just plain double crochet, but changing colours to practice that. It's got a half double crochet stitch there that is new to me. It's worked a little bit different, so it gives you a lovely stitch. And then we've got some more double crochet and some more ribbing. So great to practice stitches if you haven't done those before. If you have done the stitches before, it it works out really quick. And I've just noticed I'm looking at my viewfinder instead of you. So apologies for that. So yeah. Worked out really quick. Yep, no end sewn in, but hey. It's not cold enough to wear it yet, so it doesn't matter. Now this, if you have been following me since... I'm pretty sure I started this in May, because I started this on a holiday, and that was the beginning of May. So I'm pretty sure that's when it was. So if you've been following me for a while, you would have seen this thing a lot of times. Oh, it's all creased. It wasn't beautiful before I folded it up. This is the Flax by Tin Can Knits. It is a free pattern on Ravelry. Great beginner's project. I learned a lot of things with this project. Um, for the life of me, I can't remember what stitches are in it now. I think it was like make ones and different increases that I've never done before. So I learned how to do those. It has a garter stitch panel down the sleeves. You can see that on both sides and then it's just plain for the body and then just ribbing on the bottom. I made so many mistakes in this thing and some of them are obvious. I know a lot of people go, oh I've made all these mistakes and to other people they can't see them. You can see them. <laughs> but um, you know what? I don't care. Like look at that. Okay, you can see it like right there. I don't care that there's mistakes because this was a mission for me. This thing is huge. This thing, it fits me. And I learnt so much. I learnt how to do continental knitting and I've since discovered that my tension is terrible so I've gone back to English style. I learnt how to do different increases. I learnt how to pay attention to a pattern. 
don't think it's on that arm. Oh, well, there's one. Where is it? You can see there there's one pearl stitch that's too soon. Um, there's quite a couple of those. But I learned how to decrease for the sleeves. I learned how to knit in the round. I mean, I already know how to do that, but how to, you know, knit in the round. I learned lots of things. So even though there's lots of mistakes that will stand out when I wear it, I don't care because it's my very first sweater and finishing this beauty was an achievement so I am very happy with that I haven't got a photo of this on finished on Instagram so I'll have to put it on it's actually a good day today to wear it it's a bit cooler so that's my finished items so bear with me one minute and I'm going to get my um, accu accusations I don't think that's the right word acquisitions <laughs> So about, I would say about a month ago, I said to my friend Karen, I'm not going to buy any yarn because in March of 2017, there is the Unwind Festival in Dunedin, which is a yarn, uh, so Unwind Retreat in Dunedin. And it's a yarn retreat. You can stay in there if you like. Um, but it goes for three days and it's basically yarn, knitting, crochet there's a couple of stalls there that you can go to and make purchases and there's classes and it's really really good fun uh, Karen and I went last year and this year we've got myself, Karen and then two other friends who we've managed to um, get to come along with us so it's going to be awesome fun and yeah so the point of that story is I said to my friend Karen about a month ago which would have been November could have been on end of October and I said I'm not buying any more yarn until unwind so that would have given me about four months of not buying any yarn anyway so the next day I got on Instagram and the lady that sold the pink yarn the uh, vintage pearls the pink yarn of the cardigan I just showed you she had a yarn update didn't she and she put on this yarn And if you know me, you'll know that this blue just went by me. Now I've got my v-neck cardigan. I have a long sleeved one, which is this one. I have a short sleeve one, which is the pink one. And I've also got a three quarter sleeve one, which uh, I'm pretty sure was in the video tutorial, which was all different colours, like sort of all rainbow colours. So I thought I want a short sleeve one but I also want a long sleeve one and I use just over uh, just under three skeins of yarn sorry just what did I use I use two skeins for my short sleeve one so the pink one I use two of these so I figured the long sleeve may take about three skeins maybe more maybe and if I want to make it longer in the body like in the, the cardigan part um, yeah it's definitely gonna take more yarn so I thought I need probably three for each no I need three for one of them and two for the other one and there were six in stock and I thought well you know I can't leave one there by itself <laughs> so I have this lovely yarn it's so pretty it's coming up really bright on the screen it's not that bright and it's a sock yarn and it's what is it superwash merino and 25% nylon and it's called learn to love this kind of atmosphere and it's a limited edition so when morag from vintage pearls the lovely lady that dyes this yarn she does limited editions so Basically, once it's gone, it's gone. And you know when you just see a colour? That is really blowing out. The lights are getting it. You know when you see a colour and you just have to have it? This was one of those colours. It's like a bright 
a bright blue is how I would describe it. I don't know if that's technically correct, but the bright blue is how I would describe it. It's not like any of the Super Saver colours, but it's lovely. And it's lovely and soft, and it gets even softer when you wash it and block it. So that was my naughty purchase. After saying I'm not buying any more yarn, I went and bought six. But hey, say lovey. <laughs> so the next part in the video, I'm going to make this, a, hopefully this is a quick video, no idea how long I've been talking, but I'm going to make this a quick video. Normally I go on about stuff and in, I insert a whole heap of stuff into the video, but I didn't do any out and about apart from our little um, daytime retreat and I didn't do any out and about this time because my camera, if I, so if I film a tutorial, then go out and about and film something, then do the rest of the tutorial later on, my camera decides it wants to shuffle all of the the uh, the crochet sections. So you go to edit and it, it can't cope because you've filmed something in between. So you've filmed the start of the tutorial, you've gone out for lunch, filmed that, and come back and film the rest of the tutorial and it can't cope. It just goes and mixes them all up. So I'm going to keep this one short completely lost track what I was talking about. I've got so many things going through my head. Uh, like I said, it's about the 6th of December right now and I have my family coming for Christmas and they get here on the 20th and, uh, and the other guys, they get here on the 23rd. That's less than two weeks away and I have so much to do, especially filming. So yeah, if I seem a little bit crazy, that's why. So, Pretty sure that's it. That's all I've got to tell you. I'm looking at the stuff laying around me. Done that, done that, done that. Yep. So now we are going to go on to the giveaway. And I want to say a huge, huge thank you to everybody that has supported me and is subscribed to my videos. It it really does mean the world to me. It It's crazy that there's 300,000 of you <laughs> that have subscribed. So thank you so much. And as a thank you, I am going to do a huge giveaway. It's also combined with our Christmas giveaway. And we have an awesome list of people that have donated prizes to the giveaway. And I have forgotten my list, so I will be back in a second with a list of people that have donated to our giveaway. I have a huge list of let me put that pen down because I'm going to click it. I have a huge list of donators. I have a huge list of donations that have come in from so many people and I want to say a huge thank you to them. Um, I don't want to say thank you individually because I may actually forget to say thank you to one of them. So I'd like to say a huge thank you to all the people that have donated to our giveaway. Without you guys, there probably wouldn't be much of a giveaway, so thank you so much and for your generosity and, yeah, for supporting me. I've got my list of um, things here. I'm not going to show you the prizes. I have made a uh, blog post on my website and you can go and check that out if you want to see what we've got. And I highly recommend that you do because the prizes are awesome. They're amazing. Like I would love to win all of them, but... Of course I can't win any of them. So our first prize, and so the first prize will be the very first name that I, that I draw. And um, after that, it's going to be in a random order. So the if your num if your name's like the third third name, you may not get the third thing on the list. So the first one will because that will be the very first person that wins. But the rest will be random. So don't think. You know, if you're the third person, like I said, you're going to get the third thing on the list. So the very first prize is being very kindly donated by Red Heart. And if you would like to get some awesome yarn and free patterns, go and check out redheart.com. They really are fantastic and they've been so generous. They have donated a prize package worth $125. And that's US dollars, $125 US dollar package. There is so much yarn... I have got a list of the yarn that has been donated and that will be 
on my website there's a photo of it as well so you can, and you can see exactly what's in the prize so a huge thank you to them please go and check out redheart.com um, great supporters of this uh, video channel my crochet uh, videos as well they donate yarn for me to use in my projects so huge prize it's awesome you have to go and check it out we also have Stationery Geek. Uh, Lucy is in the UK and Lucy has uh, crochet Bibles, knitting Bibles. Um, she's got stickers, works in progress cards, little Christmas tags with really funny sayings on them. If you see my, my giveaway and my review video, then you would have seen some of her um, products in that video. And she's, so she's donated to the giveaway. A, the work in progress cards, a crochet, it's called the crochet, I think it's called crochet project diary, no crochet project bible and it's a great way to keep track of your projects. We've also got a knitted version, there is also a knitted version but there's also a knitted notebook that has been donated as well as some really awesome stickers. So again you can see the exact prize on my website and the link will be in the description box so you can check out the prizes. We also have a Yarnet. Yarnet has also supported this uh, video channel before. We had a Yarnet prize a few months back but you are getting one as one of the prizes. It will be a Christmas themed one so that's very cool. Waltopia. We've also had Waltopia on a giveaway before so a huge thank you. Has, Waltopia has donated 200 grams of yarn. Uh, it's amazing and you wait till you see the photo it's really pretty it's even prettier than in real life the photo does not capture how gorgeous this yarn is vintage pearls um, I've just spoken about them with the pink yarn that I made my cardigan out of and the blue yarn that I just <laughs> purchased to uh, make more cardigans and after I said I wasn't buying any uh, uh, Morag from vintage pearls has very kindly donated two skeins of yarn and um, some pens and some fudge you're very lucky the fudge is going in the, the giveaway prize because <laughs> it nearly didn't make it uh, again you can check out the yarn on my website um, I have also donated a project bag and a skein of yarn to go with the project bag and also a separate skein of yarn and a couple other bits and pieces Turmic Valley Yarns has donated some yarn we've got some minis and it's in rainbow colours you wait until you go and see that um, absolutely awesome I do have some of the rainbow minis I'm not sure if it's the same set but I do have some of the rainbow minis and I'm using it at the moment to make a project um, if you've watched my videos long enough you'll know that I'm a huge fan of of Turmic Valley Yarns as well and they are in Turmic Valley Yarns is an Australian company and so is Waltopia and then Vintage Pearls is a New Zealand um, business we have just looking down my list we've got Jessica, my great friend Jessica from JMO Creations she's also donate, donating a pattern of your choice up to the value of 5 US dollars on Ravelry so that's a really great prize as well so it could be a knitted pattern if you wanted to and it could also, or it could also be a crochet pattern up to the value of five dollars and our last person that has donated but last but not least is my great friend Katie Katie has donated some crochet books and some yarn from my own personal stash so a huge thank you to Katie for that and again all the photos of all the things that I've just mentioned are going to be on my website I didn't want to show you them on the video because it's going to take too long so I just wanted to try and keep this video as short as possible yeah very exciting you just wait and see it till you see the prizes there's things there that are so nice and right so the details of that's the prizes that you can win and the details of the giveaway is you will need to be a subscriber of my channel uh, you'll need to have a YouTube account and then subscribe to my channel and I can check this so you need to be a subscriber you also need to give this video a thumbs up or a like and also last thing is leave a comment in the, on the, in the comment section 
and the your question is what do you like the most about crochet and you're going to leave your answer in the comments section you will need to leave your comment on the YouTube video this video may appear on Facebook it may appear somewhere somewhere else but you will need to leave your comment on YouTube to be entered into the giveaway if it's anywhere else I won't see the comment and like if it's on my Facebook channel I will a Facebook page I will but if it's on someone else's I won't so if, therefore it all needs to be left in the YouTube on the YouTube page uh, I think that's that bit anybody can enter the giveaway it's open worldwide doesn't matter where you live as long as you're on planet Earth and you have a postal address then yeah I can get the prize out to you I think only one of those is digital yeah only the pattern one of the patterns is digital the rest I will need a postal address so this giveaway will close on the 16th I'm trying to figure this out because I've got family coming on the 20th and I want to try and have it all out by then this will close no this will close on the 15th of December 2016 so it's in a couple of days from when this video has been released and to make it easy if it is midnight on the 15th of January where you live it is closed so if it's before midnight on the 15th of December did I just say January I'm losing it um, yeah if it's before midnight on the 15th of January you can still enter if it's not then the giveaway has closed I know it's only for a few days but if you're subscribed to my tutorials and you get notifications that I've put a video up then it won't be a problem <laughs> And if you would like to do that, if you click on the subscribe button, somewhere there there's a little settings cog. If you click on that, you can adjust it to make sure it sends you an email to, to notify you when I have a video. So that's really handy. You will also need to check your comments. So if I reply to you, if you've won and I replied to you, it will should email you if you've got your settings set up like that. It should email you or you will get a notification of some description that I have replied to your comment and what I would do is a couple of days after the giveaway is closed I would go back to this video and check your comment to see if I replied to you and that way you will know if you have been a winner because I have ha in the past have had giveaways for my videos and people haven't contacted me and it's been two weeks so if you don't contact me within a week of this closing so if you haven't contacted me by so 15th if you haven't contacted me contacted me by Christmas Day I'm gonna redraw it and um, pick someone else I'm sorry but I have to do that because sometimes prizes don't get claimed and then it's just sitting there on the shelf for a month so yeah if you if you don't have it if you haven't replied within before Christmas Day then I will just redraw it um, if I need to do a redraw unfortunately those prizes may not be sent out till probably in the new year I don't know if my post office is closing over the Christmas break not sure but if I do do a redraw then that may delay a little bit of the shipping but um, yeah I'm going to contact you via the comment section and then you can follow my instructions from there okay that's all the boring stuff out of the way and I would like to say a huge thank you for watching this video if you've got this far then thank you very much I think that is everything I need to tell you I just wanted to do a quick hello and um, let you know what I've been up to things I've been making things I've been buying and also the giveaway so yeah it's going to be a short one so yeah like I said thanks for watching guys I hope you are having a wonderful week and I hope I would love to give everybody a prize but if I bought 300,000 prizes I'd probably be in a serious amount of debt <laughs> like seriously <laughs> even if I spent a dollar on everybody it'd be like $300,000 and I don't have that much money anyway thanks for watching guys I 
I hope you win in the, the um, giveaway. Good luck. Um, thanks for entering. Thank you for supporting me all this time. Thank you for all the donations from everybody. And yeah, till next time, happy crochet. Bye.